Alrighty, Laurie here. Today I am doing a collab with the beautiful Jessica E. Thomas. And she is a, what she calls her channel, a beauty in books. It's about beauty in books. So she's a writer. So I find we um, have a lot of things in common because we're both creative people. I'm an artist and she's a writer. And so I can relate to a lot of the struggles that she has in her writing because I have the same kind of struggles with my um, with, with my art, so I can really relate to that. She also does beauty on a budget, so she always very carefully considers any purchases she makes, and she will talk you through how she's thinking and that, and, and I find that it's really interesting. And so she'll take you shopping with her, and she'll do lots of little vlog styles in the car and things, and, and then she also does um, the videos about her writing and, and books and things. So... Um, Today, we are going to do a collab using the Zodiac Love Signs palette, which looks like this, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I haven't got to play with it very much, so I was really happy when she suggested we use this palette for a collab. So what we're going to do today is, because we're on opposite sides of the world, and it's spring here, and it's autumn over there, we're actually going to do the opposite, though. So I'm going to do an autumn look, and she's going to do a spring look. So that, that should be interesting, trying to channel the opposite season while we try and do the look. Um, I had to refilm the intro and the outro on this video. So the look I am wearing now is not the look I am doing in the video. But I am wearing the Love Signs palette, and I did try and um, channel autumn while I was putting this one on. So you kind of get two looks. So... For this look, I use this colour here, which I absolutely love, and I and so I put that through the crease, and then I blended it out with that colour, and with some white at the very top, and then I went in with this really really deep dark brown that looks probably looks black on camera, but it is a dark brown, and I put that on the outer corner, and then I went over it with this colour, and this colour was really nice too, so I blended that out. And then I went on the lid with this one, so that's all over the lid there. And then in between the two, I went in with this one. And I think it made a beautiful look. And just on the very highlight bits in here, in the highlight on my cheeks, I used my I Love Revolution Pineapple Shimmering Highlighter Powder. So I thought that nice. Colour there went really well with that colour there. And what I did was I swirled it all together and did my highlight. And then I just used the lighter bit in the pineapple to do my highlight and on my nose and very little bit top, on the top of the cheek. So that's what I used today. And I think it turned out really pretty and it's really giving me the naked honey palette vibes. So I did a video on drooping the vibes of the honey palette one which was a collab with Kitty J Havoc so um, I can link that in the cards so you can have a look and, and see if you're interested but this look is definitely giving me honey vibes <laughs> so, so I will link Jessica down below and I will put her up in the cards so that you can check her out and so I have to channel autumn on this beautiful spring day <laughs> It is absolutely gorgeous today. Yesterday was, it was sunny, but it was cold, and today it's absolutely gorgeous. There's no wind. The sun is shining, and I'm looking out the window, <laughs> and it's, it's beckoning me out there. <laughs> so, I have to put my spring thoughts away and channel autumn. So I have done my eyebrows, and I've prepped my eyes the way I have been doing lately with my Milani eyeshadow primer because that's what I'm using. It's still got, it's going down, but I've still got plenty left in there, so that's still gonna last me a fair while. What do I want to start with? I'm gonna start off with the Virgo Matte color, this one here. And I've lost my brushes, so I'm limited in brush use at the moment. And I wanna put that in the crease. Look at that beautiful colour. It's an orangey rust colour. I love these colours. I love wearing these colours in the autumn. Go take my headband. <laughs> I 
I want an eyeliner this color that I can put on my waterline. And I'm going to go in with this mustardy color that's the, can you see that? That's the cancer match. And I'm wearing my mustardy shirt because <laughs> I had an idea of what I wanted to do. And I'm going to blend that into the top. It's pretty. These, these colors do remind me of autumn leaves. I suspect this color that's, it ble this color and this color here that I'm using is actually blending into this color, which I really like. <laughs> so I suspect that that's actually turning out to be that color where it blends together. And then I'm going to go into the Scorpio one, which it looks white. I think it's white. It could be a very light pink. Can you see? That one there. It looks, it looks white on my finger that I can see. But it's a bit hard to say that I don't think if it has any pink in it, it's not going to make any difference to what I'm doing. There was one colour in here that I really love that I wanted to use, but I just couldn't quite figure out what look I wanted to do with it. That was an autumn look, because it's more of a springy look, and that was the Gemini Shimmer, because look at this pink. It's just beautiful. So it's kind of pink with a kind of purple shift. It goes very well with my nails. <laughs> All the looks I was coming up with to use that colour were more spring looks, so I had to set that aside and think autumn. <laughs> so I'm wondering if Jessica will use that colour. <laughs> they all blend very nicely together. This, the quality of the Love Signs palette, I think, is just as good as the quality in the um, other Zodiac palette that they did. The, um, it's just, it was just the Zodiac palette, wasn't it? You know what I mean. Yeah, just the, the plain Zodiac one, that one. So the quality was really good in this one as well. In this one you got the um, sort of purpley mats and things in, in there. So it's a, got all these beautiful purples, which I think will mix really well with the other palette as well. So, I think this colour here is very similar to this colour. But I think that's the only one in the mats that looks similar. All the rest are slightly different. Dark brown could be close. No, they they are different. I think all the rest are pretty different. So that's interesting. <laughs> so on this one, you might notice that my cancer gold is um, a lot more worn than the others, and that's because I took the cancer gold out and I stuck it in my palette when I made the drink of the Natasha Denona gold palette, and then I've just popped it back in this palette. So. I may end up doing that with this colour too, popping it out and mixing it with my other singles. Then popping it back in. Because my thought was, I like with the Colourpop palettes, I'm, I'm just rambling, sorry Jessica. <laughs> I like with the Colourpop palettes that you can just pop them out because they're magnetic. And you can mix up your own colour scheme in a magnetic palette like, like this one, like I've done here. And some of these, the Classy Cake, these two are from the Juvia's Place Tribe palette. And these are a couple that I've depotted, one from a BYS Rebel palette and one from the Revolution Surfix palette. And this is a Colourpop single. <laughs> so I can mix them around, but then I can put them back in the palette and have the palette hold in the way I want it, which I, which I like the idea of. Because um, what I've discovered is the little magnets that you buy that you stick on the back of the pans, okay, now you can buy... You can buy the little magnets. I've got some from Amazon. So if your if your pan's not magnetic, you can stick these on the back, and it will stick to your magnetic palette. But 
these will stick to, like this is an old fridge magnet, so these will stick to a fridge magnet. So what I can do is I can chop a bit off my fridge magnet, glue it into the bottom of the pan, and just pop the shade back in. So then I've still got the palette all hold and together when I want it, but I can also pop them out and play with them. Because that is my ideal scenario, is having a palette that inspires me, but also being able to pop them out and play with them. So if I can pop them out easily without breaking them and things, then um, that's what I'm planning on trying out. So let's get back to the eye look. I don't, I don't know where that random spear whip came from, but <laughs> what do I want to do next? I think I want to do my outer corner, and I'm going to use this really dark green that's from the Aquarius. This one here looks black, but it's actually just a really, really dark brown. Just let me put the fingers in it. And a little brush. So I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush. This is a point double XS one. So this is slightly bigger than the other one, but the other one I have not washed. Because so. I decided I really wanted to use some of those teal shades because they're so pretty. These ones, the Capricorn ones, because. I mean, how can, how can I not use those? It's just gorgeous. So the colour scheme that I am doing at the moment does remind me of the BYS Banana Rama palette, which I actually gave to my daughter. Because she really liked the colour scheme and I decided I could get the same look from other palettes than I thought. So um, I can definitely get the same kind of look from this palette. It is a very pigmented dark green. Jessica and I have quite different makeup styles, so you will get oops, you will get quite different looks from both of us, which I really like. I really like that when you do a colour with someone and they've got quite a different style, then you get ideas that are completely different from yours that I, I may have never even thought of. And then I think I will go into this colour here. And I'm going to put that here. Now that is a beautifully pigmented pastel-y color. So now I know which palette to buy. I'm going to want a pastel aqua. There's a lot of those kind of pale aqua colors that I have. Not that I have lots of them. They're just they're just not very pigmented. This one is. And going on my creepy eyelids with a match is not the easiest thing in the world, so it does have to work well to walk on my creepy eyelids. And then I want to go in with. It's going to be. Okay. Hang on a moment, I need to blow my nose because I've had a bit of a cold and <laughs> my nose is just running all the time. And also it's spring, so. So. Going with some glitter glue. So I'm just using my e.l.f. glitter glue and I'm going to put it in a brush that I can use this with. I might just use my sponge too because, um, as I said, I've washed my brushes so I'm working on the bare bones of my brushes <laughs> because I had five teenage girls. That's mine here for Halloween the other day, doing makeup, Halloween makeup, and um, <laughs> I had to wash my brushes afterwards, so you can imagine just how many dirty brushes I had. <laughs> they had a great time, but there was a lot of dirty brushes. So I think I will get this Virgo orange, which I absolutely love. I can see this being a spring colour as well. I'm gonna I haven't tapped off my brush, so there's going to be a lot of fallout, but that's okay because I haven't done my face. And I'm going to tap that over the glitter glue. But isn't that just like the most gorgeous, gorgeous orange? Can you see it on camera? It's just so pretty. So I'm not actually doing a cut crease, but it kind of looks like a cut crease. So that's what we've got so far. Then I'm going to go in with a I think I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go in with 
This might not work, I might need a different one. I'm gonna go in with this colour here. Can you see that? And I wanna put it here. Oh, that's so pretty. Yes. I'm so glad you suggested we use this palette as a Look at that, that's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. And then I want to go back. I need another small brush. Ooh, I haven't got any small ones left. Oh, I might be able to get away with this one. I'm going to go back into this colour. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to watch where to hold the palette up. I'm going to go into that matte, rusty, orangey <coughs> colour now and just tidy up that edge. So it, it, it does look like a cut crease, but. I haven't cut the crease with concealer or anything. I suppose I cut the beginning of the crease with some glitter glue, but that's about as close as I got to a cut crease. <laughs> when I relax my eyes, I'm losing most of that orange. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to put that highlighter because I do want to see it. Actually, that's quite a good brush for that. And then I'm going to go back into the mustardy colour. And then I'm going to go back into the white. Then I think what colour kind of liner do I want to put on? I'm gonna go for orange, but I'm using my ColourPop one in Puppy, which is broken <laughs> because they keep breaking and it's really annoying. So I'm just trying to put that broken bit back in so I can actually use it because I don't want to waste it. So this one is in Puppy, I think. Yeah, in Puppy. And I'm gonna put that underneath because I just. I lost it. I just like to have a bit of liner on the bottom for the shadows to stick to. And then I'm going to go back into that rusty orange colour. Okay, so I'm going to tight line and then I'll do my rest of my face and then I'll come back and see what else we need to do. So here is where we're at. So I added my I like your glide on gel and gypsy teal on the waterline. And I did some black liner just on the top. And for inner corner, I think I'll use my highlighter. So I used the Sophie X Revolution palette for my highlighter and I used this one here. And I think I'll just do inner corner with it. And I'm just going to go back into the orange. Because it's so pretty, I want to make sure I can see that well. Yeah, I'm going to use some of that orange because I'm just crazy and I love the colour. There's a little blush top up in between the blush and the highlight. Yeah, I like that. You probably can't even see it on camera, but it just warms up the blush a bit and ties it into the eyes nicely. And then I'm going to put my mascara on, <laughs> just about to drop it. And there is my final look. So on my lips today I used the Rimmel Spice Nude Lip Pencil. And then just in the middle I tried using the Focalore Lip Topper in Garnet. And um, I, I just, I love the colour of this, it just doesn't work very well. So it's gone kind of patchy. I just put some on my finger and went like that. It does dry down. So it, it dries. But it just goes patchy and weird. So it's a shame that the colour is so pretty, but the formula is just not very good. <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend that. What do you think? I haven't done setting spray. Have I? Yes, I did do setting spray. I don't even remember what I'm doing. <laughs> So does this look like an autumn look? Or am I still channeling spring? I, I'd wear this at any time, but I feel like I'm still channeling spring a bit. I feel like I could have gone darker for autumn. What do you think? It'd be interesting to see what Jessica does, whether she ends up going darker because she's in autumn and she's channeling 
what I'm trying to do is break up. <laughs> okay. And so, this is where the video ends. Please go and check out Jessica if you haven't already. She's well worth having a look at. And I really enjoy her channel, so I hope you will too. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.